This is our warm up and our rules main. Just try and keep the camera steady, okay? Do I stand right here? Um, come a little closer onto the mat. So this is our warm up and our uh, rules main. Because what I want to cover is the two major rules that make this the safest way. The one is no head contact. So when we spar, everything is outside of the collar line. Okay, that's including the shoulders, the arm, the body, everything. Even the groin should have a cup. If you get guys who come from like a Krav Maga background, they can have a gentleman's agreement, no groin shots, that's fine. I don't go for that anyway. But um, we're advertising mixed martial arts also as a way to practice self-defense. Um, every Sunday, by the way, at 10, we have a D-Fit seminar, which is my version of cardio kickboxing. It's self-defense and fitness. So it's more strength building than cardio and you learn self-defense moves rather than just kickboxing. So that's every Sunday at 10 here at Pinpoint, 10 to 12, and then we have the MMA championships at noon. Uh, what we're gonna do now is a takedown into a power hold, and Matt, let me borrow you because we're about the same size. Power hold is my answer to submission grappling. My philosophy is this. I don't wanna teach people to tap out. As a metaphor for life, never give up. And power hold is actually a better way to train. For example, we'll just do a basic um, takedown from the over under clinch. What I'm gonna do is clasp my hands together. Come on, so you can see the muscles. Clasp my hands together on his hip, right? On the overhook side, I'm gonna step past his leg. I'm gonna cinch his hips into mine. I'm gonna pinch my knee in on that overhook side. I'm gonna twist him over and I'm gonna land on top of him in side control. Okay, now, I got my chest heavy, I got my underhook so he doesn't sit up around my leg, and depending on whether you're a striker or a grappler, you might go C grip so you can punch, <coughs> or you might go shoulder pressure to dominate the position. But in either case, what you're gonna do is lift your hips up while keeping your chest heavy, and you're gonna drive your knee over to the mount. As soon as you hit your knee to the mat, you're gonna post up and you're gonna raise high like this, like you're gonna ground a pound. Now, the person goes to defend. Okay, so we'll come across. This is a basic paintbrush, what they call a paintbrush. I come down here. If he's strong, I can use my head to help. I come under, I grab my own wrist, come in close with the camera. And here's where power hold comes in because I could crank this very quickly and break my partner's um, elbow and or shoulder, but then I wouldn't have a sparring partner. So we teach no finishes. Now he can tap out, it's not against the rules, but for the point system, when we actually um, have scorekeepers, they're gonna be looking at the length of time that you hold a power hold here, which if, you don't know what I'm talking about. A power hold is another word for a position for a submission. So I have Matt in a power hold right now. And basically anything that can happen, it falls under the, the power hold um, system. So even the mount is a power hold. And the longer I hold the, whatever position it is, the more points I get. So it makes sense for me, if I wanna get the high score, to hold this position. And that takes control, and it takes strength, because Matt's not gonna just let me hold him. He's gonna try to escape, so I have to actually use my muscles against his muscles. Rather than spazzing out and getting a quick tap out, now I have to hold this. Now, the power hold goes up to 45 seconds. So to keep the action moving, at 30 seconds, the, score, the timekeeper is gonna hit a bell or something so you know that you only have 15 seconds left to transition. Just a few more seconds, so our You're camera fine. person is, uh, is feeling the weight of the camera right now. Ah. So this is the move that we're gonna do. We're gonna transition to the paintbrush. And now just to get used to the idea of holding and not going for the tap out, I want you guys to count to 10 Mississippi. So we'll go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi. And then once you get to 10 Mississippi, you can actually practice the tap out, which in this case, we're painting the mat down. And it's called the paintbrush because his hand is the paint, is the brush. And I'm painting and I'm painting and I'm painting and he just taps out. And um, just to, for your sake, 
I would say for you watching at home also, I would like you to say the word tap because the person's not always gonna feel you tap and the ref might not see a tap. So for safety's sake, yell tap, but in your life, don't ever tap out. If you ever need help with anything, connect in with Master Lukey and the team. We're gonna win. Squad. And that's the rules, basically, Matt. Does that answer your question that you had before? Yeah. Anybody have any other questions while I'm filming this? Why doesn't the person that's on the ground not, <coughs> not tapping get the points instead of the person on the top? Yes, that's right. They if both get the points. If you're in a finishing position, you should be able to make me tap. If you can't get me to tap, because yes. maybe you don't have the position down. Exactly. Down. No, that's a great point. High five. Now, okay, we're gonna, flat, we're gonna fast forward to the future now. We have two speakers here, and we're gonna say that those in the future are motion capture cameras. Okay, this is when the League of Champions becomes a nationwide phenomenon. We go all the way out to California where they have this for Hollywood, it's called motion capture. Um, okay, so now the motion capture cameras, one's on me, one's on you. It's gonna digitize our movement and then put our scores up on a scoreboard. So imagine it's like a heart monitor where you're automatically getting points as soon as the match begins. Depending on what you do, you're getting more points. So the fact that you're in a position where you could give up, but you're not, you're fighting, you're actually getting points for that. And you're always getting points, you're never not getting points. Because to me, you step on the mat, you dedicate yourself, you're automatically a champion. That's why it's the League of Champions. And thank you for that question, that's a great point. Uh. All right, so now um, when the people on YouTube come back, we're gonna be geared up and we're gonna do one more drill before we spar. But let's get this move in, guys, and then we'll move on, okay? Um, two big guys go together. You two guys of normal stature go together.